Hello, dear friends. My name is Tatiana Yurivna, and today I'm going to teach you English. For our lesson, you will need your English student's book, and we are starting Unit 8 from Australia to Belarus. Lesson 1 Travel Tips. Please open your book at page 210. Exercise 1 Complete the scientific facts below. If it is winter in Belarus, it is summer in Australia. If it is 3 p.m. in Minsk, what time is it in Canberra? It's 10 p.m. Why? Because Australia is situated in the Southern Hemisphere and Belarus is situated in the Northern Hemisphere. Let's do exercise two. In exercise two, you have some travel tips. Please look through the introduction in exercise 2b. What are these travel tips for? Yes, they are for, for your parents. Please look through the tips in exercise 2c and answer the question. Would you be happy if your parents followed these tips? I hope you would. Now, let's have a look at the highlighted sentences. What do they have in common? Let's see. In all these sentences, we have the word if, yesly. Such sentences are called conditionals. Please look, are these sentences about the present, past or future? All of them are about the present. But in the first sentence, we have a fact. If you travel with children, traveling gets much more difficult. In the second sentence, we have a usual action. If I'm planning a holiday trip with my children, I always make sure they take part in planning the holiday. And in the third and the fourth sentences, we have instructions. Uh, now I have got some questions. Do all these sentences start with if? The answer is no. Look at the third sentence. You should check in early if you want to get best seats. So in this sentence, if goes in the middle of the sentence. And in this case, we don't put a comma before if. Please compare in the first, second, and fourth sentences, there is a comma. Now, let's find out what tenses or what verb forms we use. If you travel with children, traveling gets much more difficult. So in both parts, we have present simple. In the second example, in the first part, we have present continuous, I'm planning, and I always make sure. So here we have present simple again. In the third example, you should check, we have a modal verb. And in the if part, present simple again. In the last example, if you start packing suitcases, make sure we have the present simple tense in the if part, but we have an imperative in the main clause. Imperative, повелительное наклонение. So, let's sum up. In conditional zero, in the if part, we use present simple or present continuous. And in the main clause, we use present simple or a modal verb or an imperative. And we talk about things that are always or usually true. Now, please go to exercise 4a 
and do it in your exercise books, then we'll check together. Okay, let's check. If you plan to see many interesting sights, don't forget to take a camera. Photos make the best memories. If your kids pack their own suit rucksacks, check they are not bringing a whole collection of fossils with them, just in case. If you don't want to spend a lot of time waiting at the airport, you should fly as early in the day as possible. Afternoon and evening flights usually get delayed. If you travel to a hot country, choose clothes made from natural materials and don't forget hats and sunglasses. If you want them to be busy, you should forget about no more than 30 minutes of TV a day rule. Load your iPhone or iPad with new kid-friendly flight applications your children have never tried before you fly. If you don't want to get into trouble at the airport, don't take toy pistols. If your kids get hungry, don't give them too many sweets. Prepare some healthy snacks. Cheese cubes, breadsticks, and fruit. Well done. Our next exercise is exercise 5A. Please read these two sentences and complete the rule. Unless is... Let's read them together. If you don't want to spend a lot of time waiting at the airport, you should fly as early in the day as possible. Unless you want to spend a lot of time waiting at the airport, you should fly as early in the day as possible. So, unless means... What do you think? It means if not. And remember, if you have unless in your sentence, you can't use any other negative word. Let's do exercise 5b. In some of the English proverbs below, unless can be used instead of if. Rewrite the proverbs that can be changed. If you are in Rome, do as the Romans do. We can't change it. If you can't be them, join them. Unless you can be them, join them. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Can we do anything here? No. Don't talk the talk if you can't walk the walk. Don't talk the talk unless you can walk the walk. If you don't have anything to say, don't say anything at all. Unless you have anything to say, don't say anything at all. If your job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. If you don't know where you're going, the journey is never ending. Unless you know where you're going, then the journey is never ending. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Unless you can stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. So, which of these proverbs can be good travel tips? Of course, the first one, if you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. If you travel to another country, read about it and follow 
its rules, customs, and traditions. And another one. If you don't know where you're going, then the journey is never ending. Now, let's go back to exercise 4B. Reread the travel tips in exercise 2 and put them in, uh, into the following categories. A. Planning. B. Getting ready. C. Packing. D. Food. E. Things to do. F. Airport tips. Some tips can go into several categories. Stop the video, do the exercise, and then we'll check together. Let's check. Paragraph one is about planning. A. Paragraph two is about getting ready. It's B. The third paragraph is about food and it's D and airport tips. F. Paragraph four is about packing. Paragraph five is about packing and airport and airport tips or things to do and e the next paragraph is about getting ready b and the last paragraph is about things to do. E. So now you know some travel tips and please go to your parents and tell them what they should do if you are going to travel. Let's finish our lesson for today. See you 